series of exercise, we are going to explore the use of mouse as an interaction device in touch designer. So as usual, we close the palette window, remove everything to tidy up the desktop, and then we create a new project folder with the name called mouse. One. And for this exercise, we're going to do some cross-fading between two images. So in this case, we create the images folder as well. And then we move the two images over here. And one by one, we drag them onto the desktop of our project. OK, so there are also movie file in object, which is capable of importing still image as well as digital video that we have done in the last couple of exercises. The command we are going to use is the cross-fading command that is available under top again. With two input, one from each images. And then the final thing will go to the output window. As before, we move out of the project one with the slash that is the root of the project and we select perform window to choose the opening size to fill the whole screen and disable the border as well and when we go back to the project one with the cross fading we can move around your slider and if you accidentally disable the parameter window, you can always recall that one by pressing the P key. And this is the effect. And if you want to have a preview, you can also turn on the display button. Then you can try out like this. OK. So the next step we're going to do is to assign our mouse button, sorry, the mouse movement in order to make changes to this slider. So the one we're going to use is in chalk because it's still the calculation and the manipulation of number. So mouse in is the chalk we are working with. And if you take a look, of the number inside the mouse in. This comes with two. One is TX, that's the horizontal movement, and the other is TY, that's the vertical movement. The range of the movement will be like from minus one to positive one. But the slider value that we have just seen is zero and one. In order to make the mapping between them, so we need to use a maths object, that is the mathematical calculation. So we connect them and then go to the range of the maths and change the from range to minus one to positive one, and then lift the two range as zero to one that is our target range and this is the source range we can also use the now object to connect the mass just in case we might need to do further calculation over here okay the way to connect is actually similar to the keyboard interaction so we turn on the viewer active for the now that it make it unchangeable in this case and then click on the cross drag the TX over here and then once you notice of the precise and then you release and select the first option export chop 
which gives you the connection between the number TX and also the cross-fading index. Okay, and then we can have a look in the perform window at this moment. So when you move it to the left, to the right, somewhere in middle, moving around. So this is a cross-fading effect that you can find in a lot of editing software. 